Today on Six Sister Stuff, I'm showing you how to make five healthy freezer meals that can go in your Instant Pot or your slow cooker. So my name is Kristen Hills and every Sunday, my sisters and I, we love sharing easy recipes with you so you can get dinner on the table. Now, this one is a little bit more special because we are doing a collaboration with The Family Fudge. So Jennifer from The Family Fudge was actually the one who got me started on YouTube. She was my very first collaboration. I'll put a link down below in the description so you can watch that. I had no idea what I was doing. But she is over on her channel. She is making five freezer meals that are super simple that can go in your crock pot. So go over to her channel and share with her some Six Sisters love. All right guys, let's jump into these five freezer meals. So you guys have been asking for some healthy freezer meals. So I'm gonna try and hit all the healthy points. Some don't have meat, some are super healthy, and some are gluten free. So make sure you watch all the videos because I have a lot of different recipes today. The first one we're gonna make is cauliflower curry. So let's get started. So first we're gonna take two cups of butternut squash and we're just gonna put it in the bottom of the freezer meal. Now, I like to put my bigger things in the bottom of the freezer meal first, so then I can pack everything in. So we'll put that in first, then we have one onion that we're gonna put in here. Now these are called red lentils. Now this is what the bag looks like. I saved the bag so you can see it. You can get it, I got mine at Kroger. They're just little red lentils, so you just need a half a cup of those. We'll put those in. Perfect. Then we just have one can of diced tomatoes, and then one can of coconut milk. I love coconut milk, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> all right, next I'm gonna add in my cauliflower. Now I cheated, I didn't wanna cut it up, I got it already in the bag, so you just need about two cups. You can leave it in big chunks like this. So I'm just gonna gently put this in, about two cups or so, just kind of fill it. Oh, look at the top. Okay, we have about two cloves of garlic or so. If you want to add more, you can. And then three tablespoons of curry paste. So with my spices, I have one teaspoon of turmeric and one and a half teaspoon of salt, and I'll just pour that right on top. Now, this doesn't have a ton of liquid in it. You do have your coconut milk in it, but we're gonna close this up for now. Mm -hmm. it up nice and tight. Okay, so to cook this in the Instant Pot, you need to add a cup of water of chicken broth, and you're gonna cook it for about six minutes. When you're done cooking, I like to turn it over to quick release and let all the pressure out. So when you cook it in the slow cooker, you wanna add one cup of water or chicken broth, just to give it a little bit more liquid. All right, we're done with this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, the next recipe is Indian butter chicken. Now, before I get a lot of comments, in butter chicken, there is no butter, but it tastes so good. You guys are gonna love it. So we're gonna start with two pounds of chicken. I cubed it up. I didn't wanna touch it for you, so it's, we're just starting with it in the bag right now. Then we're gonna go, you need about one and a half cans of tomato sauce. So these are kind of the bigger can. You can add the whole second can if you want to, but I'm just gonna just do about the one and a half. There we go. Next, I'm gonna add a half a cup of chicken broth, because you need that liquid in there. there go. And then I heat it up about two tablespoons of coconut oil, so it's all hot right now. When it freezes, it will harden, but that's okay, because it will, it will become liquid again once it gets hot in your instant pot or slow cooker. So we got two tablespoons of that. Okay, now we have a lot of spices. This is what makes it good, so I'm gonna tell you what's in here. All right, so I mixed them all together, so I have one and a half teaspoons of turmeric, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, and two teaspoons of garam masala. And we're just gonna dump those all in. All right, then we just have one clove of garlic that I'm gonna throw in here, and then just two teaspoons of fresh ginger. And just throw that in. And you're gonna wanna mix that in really good after it cooks because you don't want a big chunk of ginger. All right, guys, that is all you have to do. We're gonna take this out, close it up. Now, if you're gonna cook this in the Instant Pot, because the chicken is all cut up, ready to go, you only have to cook it for eight minutes, which 
It'll make it go really fast. If it's frozen, I would probably go like 10 to 12 minutes. If you're gonna cook this in the slow cooker, it's about four to six hours on low. All right, so when you're all done cooking this, I like to push the little knob to venting to let out all the pressure. It's called a quick release. And then you're gonna add a half of a cup of coconut cream and then a whole entire lime of lime juice and then just a little bit of cilantro on top just to give it those extra kick of flavor. So, yes, it will, you do this with both the Instant Pot and the slow cooker. All right, guys, we're all done with this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, the next recipe is Asian lettuce wraps. Now, I love this recipe because it's pretty much all cooked. You kind of just need to heat it up. So you have a few options with this. Now, you know I love the Instant Pot, and so I already cooked my ground turkey in the Instant Pot just to have it ready to go. So I'm just gonna add that. We have a pound of ground turkey. Now, those that were asking, you can make this with ground beef and it would be delicious. If you're trying to go a little bit healthier, try the ground turkey. I, I love ground turkey. The next thing we're gonna do is just add about four cloves of garlic, just in there, and then one tablespoon of ginger. Then we're gonna add some sweetness to it. So we're gonna add about three tablespoons. I'm just gonna let that pour out. Three tablespoons of honey. Actually, no, I am gonna scoop it. There we go. And then about three tablespoons of soy sauce. Now, if you want a little bit of kick, I'm adding about a fourth teaspoon of red pepper flakes and then about a half teaspoon of pepper. So let's pour that in there. Okay, then this is what I, gives it some really good flavor is using the sesame oil. So we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of sesame oil just in here too. Oops, a little more, but that's okay. And then I like to shred the big carrot. So this is just one carrot shredded. Now, if you wanna buy the pre-packaged already little bits of carrots, you can do that too. Okay. We've got it all. Take out my little spoon here, and we're gonna zip it up. So, I know what you're thinking. There's no liquid in this. I know. There's Well, there's a little bit of soy sauce, but that's about it. Um, so when you're cooking this in the Instant Pot, you're gonna cook it from frozen. You're gonna add, wanna add about a, a fourth to a half of cup of either chicken broth or water. You just need that liquid in there to pressurize, and you're only gonna cook it for about two minutes. Or, I mean, you could easily, easily just put it on your stove top or in the microwave and just microwave it and it'll be it'll be all ready to go. It's, everything's cooked, you're ready to go. But I like to do the pressure cooker so it can break down the ginger, make the carrots nice and soft, so two minutes in your Instant Pot. Or you can do the slow cooker too, just put it in there, make sure there's a little bit of water so it doesn't burn. Um, put it in there until it's just heated through. So what you're gonna do with this when it's done cooking, so I like to put it on just some lettuce wraps. These are called lettuce boats and I love how they look because they're pretty much ready to go. You just pull them out and they're like perfect, perfect for your lettuce wraps. And then I just like to throw on a little bit of green onions too, just on top to give it some good flavor. All right guys, we are all done with the Asian lettuce wraps. Let's move on to the next one. So the next recipe is chicken cacciatore. It's one of my most favorite. So you guys gotta try it. Okay, I'm gonna start with two pounds of chicken. I'm using chicken tenders. I like them because they're a lot smaller. It will cook a lot faster. So we're just gonna do two pounds of it. Just throw those all in. Once your chicken's all in, we're gonna add about two cups of mushrooms. This is about three and a half cups, so I'm kinda just gonna eyeball it about, about two cups or so. I love mushrooms, so if it was just me eating it, I'd probably have the whole thing. Okay, then I'm gonna add two cans of diced tomatoes. Just pour those right in. You want the juice in it still, if, especially if you're gonna make it in the Instant Pot. And then one onion, we'll just throw in here. It's getting full. Then we're gonna add just one cup of carrots. You can just get the baby carrots to make your life a little bit easier or you can cut up your own. So just about one cup or so of carrots. Then we need some liquid. We're gonna add about half a cup of chicken broth. I like to add about half a can. It's always, it's okay to add a little bit more liquid than what your recipe says. Then we're gonna add one tablespoon of parsley. Just give it a little bit of flavor and some color. And then last, we just have about two cloves of garlic. So we'll just put those right on top. 
Okay, and then at the very top, we're just gonna add our seasonings. So then we have one teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of pepper, and two teaspoons of oregano. So we'll just kind of dump that all on top. Okay, that is everything. Super simple and easy, but also pretty healthy too. So we're gonna close this up. Now, because your chicken is chicken tenders, you can use chicken breast if this, in this if you want to, but because it's chicken tenders, it only needs to cook for about 15 minutes in your Instant Pot. So 15 minutes, and then if you're gonna cook it in the slow cooker, it's about three to four hours on high, depending on how what you wanna use to cook it. All right, we're all done with this one. Let's move on to the next. All right, the last recipe I'm making is sweet potato quinoa stew. Now. You can use yams too. If you can't find sweet potatoes, these sweet potatoes I love because the more yellow, the more sweeter they are. But yams, the orange ones, work just great too. So I'm gonna add four cups of the sweet potatoes just in the bottom of the bag. There we go. All right, now for the good stuff. So we have one can of black beans, one can of corn. You wanna make sure the liquid's still in here one can of diced tomatoes. Now, if you're worried about the salt, you can get like um, less salts of diced tomatoes if you want to. There's not a ton in there, but if you're, if you're trying to go eat less sodium. Then we have one red onion just right on top. And then we have two tablespoons of lime juice. And then a half a cup of quinoa. Now you can find quinoa on all aisles. It's down the rice aisle, not hard to find at all. So we're just gonna pour that in. Now you're gonna add four to five cups of chicken broth or chicken stock, whatever you can find right now on those shelves. So I'm just gonna just add four today just because it's just one whole box full. It makes my life a whole lot easier. So just dump that all in. There we go. Okay, now for the seasoning, we'll put those on top. Okay, so we have one teaspoon of onion powder, two tablespoons of cumin, and one tablespoon of chili powder. So we'll just go ahead and pour that on. That is all we have. So we're gonna zip this up. Now, the good part about this is there is no meat, so it's gonna cook pretty quickly. So in the Instant Pot, it's gonna cook for about 10 minutes. And then when it's done cooking, you can turn that little knob to venting to let all the pressure out. Um, if you're gonna cook it in the slow cooker, I would suggest, I don't know, maybe like three to four hours on low. Not gonna cook very long because there is no meat. You just need those vegetables tender. All right, guys, I hope you loved these five freezer meals. Now, don't forget to go check out Jennifer from The Family Fudge because she's sharing some easy freezer meals over there with you too. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time.